Okay, hey guys, today I am playing some more Minecraft with my friends, and we just found Hero Brian. We don't know if he'll show our face again, but we just found him. And somehow we got this mod, we downloaded this mod, and that he can possess our bodies. So he possessed my body a couple times and started killing my friends. I don't even know what the mod's called. I just downloaded it and gave it to me, so I'm gonna go to gameplay. Oh, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Okay, I'm coming. Diamonds, the jewelry exchange, and one carat certified solitaires for nineteen ninety, two carat certified for fifty nine ninety, two carat rings and studs are thirty nine ninety, and most sizes and grades of GIA diamonds, all with a low price guarantee. Buy direct the jewelry exchange nationwide. Guys, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Of our users' guys are loving money. We asked on JerryWolf.com, are couples too quick to get divorced? 87% of you said Hey guys, sorry about the, um, the, like, the, um, camera. I know it's not that good, but when I get a webcam, it will be a little bit better. So, what we're going to do is try to get over to him before we were just trolling him, but now this is real. And on executive orders, Ed from New York says this, I think executive orders should be terminated when the president leaves office. It should be up to the new president to decide which he will extend and which he will let expire. Guys, I'm coming. I must admit, I was surprised to see how many orders have been issued by prior presidents. It amounts to a growing dictatorship. Why did you have to put it so far? And not just President Obama's doing. Interesting. And here's Andre from Texas on Keystone. The odds of the Keystone pipeline being approved under this administration are between slim and none. And slim. Is a, on a fast bus out of town. That's really funny. I love hearing from you. Send me an email. Go to jerrywillis.com. Okay, guys, so I'm still going. Valentine's Day. Try to not die. You know, it's a nice day, but not really a real holiday. A pleasant thought. I tried to spend too much, I tried that not, that is, to spend too much time worrying about what I call greeting card holidays, you know, Secretary's Day and that kind of thing. But I do think love and money are two things worth thinking about as we did all week this week. Because let's face it, the best of intentions when it comes to money can come all to naught if the whole household isn't on board. Then we talk the tough stuff of divorce, and one many families are all too familiar with. Frankly, I think our whole society's attitude of throwing it doesn't work contributes to the high number of divorces. Yeah, it is me. If it's broke, don't fix it. We reason throw it out. To be frank, Where are it's you? not a, enough of an effort for our families. They deserve more. I'm falling that's down. I'm falling out the earth. And that's it for tonight's show. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next week. Here, but at the same time, I'm lagging. Because part of it is fun. Are you a member of the privilege plan? Do you get special breaks in life? Oh. Politicians say they want everyone to have equal opportunity, but then they get special breaks. Okay, where's the house? We all benefit from it. All benefit? No, all don't benefit. The privileged thing. Like members of Congress when it came to Obamacare. Is there any other large employer who gets the same treatment? Uh, the, the congressional provision only applies to Congress. Unions complain. But we'll be damned if we're going to lose our health insurance because of unintended consequences. So the union's got a special drink. Can movie makers get a special break? The Michigan Film Tax Credit. Keep it going. And movie stars and their kids. Don't ever let somebody tell you you can't do something. Rich farmers get special breaks. NASCAR track owners get special breaks. So the investors in certain kinds of energy. The privilege class. What? That's our show tonight. Why you put your house all the way by freaking water? There's a reason that today, for the first time, most of America's richest counties surround oh, Washington, yeah. D.C. Washington is where you go if you so want to spend privileges. That's where they dole them out. And as government grows, they have more to dole Jeffrey. out. Jeffrey! 
I don't have ghosts. Yeah, Jeffrey, he got this mod that um hair buying could take over our bodies. And you're on YouTube. Yeah. We don't have to kick anybody. You just join. The pigs at Animal Farm were the political leaders, and over time, they prospered at the other animals' expense. Um, slogan, at least, was hold on. As soon as we get to his house, he will send you a friend. Of course. Today, the animals that are more equal are Washington politicians and their cronies, or people who aren't cronies but are rich enough to lobby the cronies who get close to the politicians. That's how, in the so-called fiscal cliff budget deal, Hollywood film producers got a special break. NASCAR got $70 million to build new race tracks. Algae growers got $60 million. Multinational corporations and offshore subsidiaries got a $9 million tax break. Go. Convoluted language. The what up, who are food? Exception to subpart F. That's how Washington works. But Ellis Hennigan is a proud progressive who says it's right that our political leaders make some choices about who needs help. Many governors with what? the for tax reform says government says we should shrink government so it can't make some animals. What happened? Who want food? So Ellis, you really want them picking leaders with all this three trillion dollars? Let me see if I can unpack this. Second, if we're going to have government, we're going to have laws. Yo, we need help. We found some diamonds. Some people will get some benefits of that. Yo, if we actually dig down where I found them, we could get them. Diamonds, trivial, compared to the impact that the market has, that heredity has, that a number of other factors. If you want to be rich in this society, the best way Michael, is to be born that way. You cannot be born that way. Marry it's like right person. here. Don't marry a rich person. Go into the market and sell some goods and services that people want. That'll get you rich a whole lot quicker than sucking up the government with. Well, providing services somebody wants, that's fair. But having government give it to you because you know somebody isn't. Well, but it's inevitable, John, that if we want government to do things for us, if we want roads and bridges, where is your house, Michael? Safety net, someone, somewhere is going to benefit from that. But you can't use that as an excuse to not do important things for our society. Maggie? No libertarian out there is going to say that we shouldn't have any roads oh, that's or government involved. The question is, who's building the roads? Can we do maybe a public private partnership where taxpayers can make their investment back on the roads rather than giving a contract away to unions who support the politician who's asking to build the roads? Those are the kind of questions you should be asking rather than saying, what ro no road or no highway. Keep government small, so... Fewer of these choices are in the hands of politicians. I agree. Well, but again, you don't use some notion that, well, there's going to be someone a little ahead and a little behind to make important choices. Well, and someone, in Madison analogy, is going to have to build that road. And it might be your friend, and it might be John's Why friend. Oh, my God, he had TNT. Well, I was an you know, electric motorcycle maker. I'm not going to defend every single tax break, but at least in government, John. Those decisions are being made by people who are elected Fine. by the people. Yeah, it would be great if that were the case. But look at what happened with Obamacare. Even these representatives that we supposedly sent to Washington didn't read the law before it went into effect. The people who are making these decisions are the administrators at the EPA, the bureaucrats at HHS. These aren't the folks that we have any accountability for. You bring up Obamacare. It was supposed to treat us all equally, but surprise, members of Congress got a special subsidy. Senator Vigor grilled a health exchange director about that. Is there any other large employer who gets the same treatment and gets to go to that exchange? The congressional provision only applies to Congress. So it's Congress is the only large employer who gets that special treatment. It's a function of, an afford of one of the provisions in the Affordable Care Act. Congress gets Wait, I think I see it. Republicans and Democrats, well, we don't want to hurt our I'm at this bond, but I think I see his house. Listen, why don't I understand why you all are so fixated on this? Yeah, I see it. 
to work for Congress, there are some benefits you get by being a government employee. There's some things you lose. Most of those people, as you know, can make a whole lot more money out of the private sector. One of them babies is some special break on health insurance. Why do we need to be so outraged about that? Is that's not how the health care law was written. How the health care law was written is if you are dumped off of your employer's health care insurance and put into exchange, your employer doesn't get to give you any more premium or any more subsidies for your premium for your health care costs. That's just the deal, and that's how it was written in the law. And the folks who wrote that law should have to abide by it as well. Labor unions were big Obamacare supporters until after Obamacare passed and they read it and discovered, ooh, some of us will have to pay more. The Affordable Care Act is not fixed. It's me, it's me. It needs to be repealed. Our health and welfare funds are under siege. But we'll be damned if we're going to lose our health insurance because of unintended consequences in a law. And it needs to be fixed now. And best of all, two months later, HHS quietly published a rule that would exempt unions from the fee just complained about. But others have to pay it. Why is that fair? Well, listen, this is the way we fight this stuff out in a democratic society. Uh, some people think, oh no, these other people are getting more than I'm getting. But at least, again, it's not perfect, and you're absolutely right, Maddie. People have influence, and some groups are smarter about maneuvering than others. Some people have think tanks that don't support them. But you know what? And yet, at least, at least we're doing this on some kind of playing field where it's open to some sort of public debate. Isn't that bad? What is the plan for the administration? Yeah, I mean, right. I mean, we're talking about Obamacare here, which is already the law of the land, which right. is the refrain we've been hearing from the administration for months, if not years. No, but, but he possessed him. Essentially, uh, play with the law of the land however he wants. He gets to give these dispensations to unions. 251 waivers to him. More than that, I think, even. It's not even the exemption on this fee that we're talking about. It's the cap on health care benefits that some companies are subject to under the law. I mean, unions went to the mattresses to try and get as much they could out of the law to be exempt from it, and they really did quite well for themselves. What about the IRS examination? Isn't that unfair? We should make a Hunger Games map. I think that the fact that suggests that that isn't true. In fact, they're trying to navigate through this, this Supreme Court decision that allows these political groups to take tax deductions when they're actually doing political stuff. And you know what? I, I agree with you. Let's get rid of that. Let's make it clean. And let's make all groups, all groups pay their fair share of tax. Does that include labor unions? Yeah, absolutely. All right. Churches, all right. We can agree on that, though. I think I said the taxes were lower. Let's put the final example. Certain investors get special privileges if they invest in what politicians call green energy. Even after the Solyndra debacle, President Obama told Congress he wants more money given to certain companies to pay for research on new forms of energy. The private sector on its own will not invest in this research because it's too expensive. It's too risky. So we got to support it. And we'll all benefit from it. But we don't so much all benefit from Her Brian so blew me up. Al Gore and Ben John Green with me on this. Wouldn't it be yes. great? Wouldn't it be great if we had this renewable energy that didn't pollute it? What? what have we gotten from these investments in alternative energy? The president, you know, he said exactly what I think about these investments the government's making is that they're too risky for the private market. And that's because the private market is not going to bear uh, uh, bear industries that aren't solvent, that aren't productive, that aren't actually going to produce anything for consumers or for businesses. And there's a reason for that, and there's a good reason for that. It's because resources should be dedicated to industries and to enterprises that are going to help America and not take care of it. Every time industry solves one of these problems, the government does It's bratch and milk. These are the ones that the market is the monster of them. They are not so bad. Let's get together and invest. So the market failed, the industry hasn't invented the perfect energy form. But the taxpayer should fund bureaucrats to do it? You know what? It's better than doing it. Okay, that's all I have for today, guys. Be sure to check out my other.